What's going on guys, NJ Chris here, thanks again for watching. Alright, so something I've been wanting to do a video on now um, is my fire kit. Uh, now, there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube on fire kits. Uh, there are ones that I've seen that are this big, contain, you know, a ton of tender, you know, two or three pounds, um, you know, that people really spent a lot of time and put a lot of effort into. And, you know, I appreciate the fact that they do that. And, uh, you know, if they want to have a two pound fire kit, you know, let them do it. Um, my, my approach on it's a little differently. I'd rather have something... Um, I'm very big into lightweight stuff, so I'd rather have something that is still can get the job done, but uh, is a lot smaller. Um, so this is what I came up with. This is my entire fire kit. Um, you know, a lot of people use Altoids containers for everything. Now, these bands, um, I know they're rubber bands right now. They were Ranger bands. Uh, I actually went out and demonstrated how to use Ranger bands with my friends to start fire. Uh, one day, just you know, screwing around, and I don't, uh, I don't actually have any Ranger bands left, so I've just been on rubber bands here for now. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you my fire kit. Now, I told you it's really simple. I have cotton down here that's soaked in Vaseline. I have extra Vaseline up here, and then these are cotton applicator pads. Uh, you know, like the ones you, um, you can use to put makeup on or take makeup off, or for facial scrubs and whatever. That's my entire fire kit. Now, the reason I do it this way is because I believe that carrying Vaseline, uh, carrying globs of Vaseline is a lot better than carrying, um, you know, like, say in this thing I could fit six wet fires, if that. That's six fires, basically. Um, doing it this way, I'm confident I can make a lot more. Each one of these things, uh, these cotton applicator pads, I'm positive I can, I can get a fire out of. I have eight of them in here, so that's eight. And then each one of these little pieces of cotton, I'm positive that, you know, I could take something, uh, let's just say, that size, probably even smaller, and make a fire out of that. So I have a good amount of fires in here, way more than I'm going to start, um, you know, on any weekend trip or anything. So that's my fire kit. Um, it, it's very simple, and I believe that it's, you know, it's effective, and that's really all you need um, if you're going to be, you know, if you have a lighter and if you have a ferro rod with you. Um, you know, I understand you need more if, you know, you're going, uh, if you're going primitively, but I'm not, you know, I like cooking fish, <laughs> and I like enjoying the fact, the modern conveniences that we have. Uh, in camping, so I don't need to, you know, have a char tin, I don't need to have, well, I could use this as a char tin if I wanted to, but I don't need to have most of the materials that, you know, the pioneers men had. This works for me. I'm not saying it'll work for everybody, but I just wanted to show you guys something small that fits in a very tiny container that you can literally, um, you, you could probably get 50 to 100 fires out of this thing. You know, uh, one thing that I believe in as well is uh, I'm actually going to put more Vaseline in there because uh, I'm running out <laughs> but um, you know once you use that cotton um, you can carry bandanas with you and basically you know if you were in a situation where you needed to you know say you know you were out for a really long time you used all the cotton you can cut up a piece of cotton off your bandana dump it in the Vaseline and you have basically another fire starter right there, so um, that's all I have to say about the, th the topic. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, comments, suggestions. Uh, if you would change this kit at any for any reasons, let me know. Um, you know, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, you know, always trying to make my uh, my whole kit the lightest and the the lightest and the best I can possible. So. I really thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys soon.